Now that we have a basic understanding of using iLogic in Inventor, let's continue that discussion with other features that are available. In the Parameters dialog, we'll add additional variables for the bin size, which is either small or large, as well as true or false options for the casters. Then we can add a rule for those two parameters. Both of these parameters will be controlled by an if, then, else logic statement. If the bin size is set as small, then make the depth parameter equal to 12 inches. Else, set the depth to 18 inches. In the next statement, we're going to decide on the casters. If the caster's parameter is set to false, then do the following. Right-click on the feature from the browser and capture its current state. Decide whether it's turned on or off using true or false. We have one feature for the legs and four of them that make up the casters. Under else, we're simply going to reverse the suppression state of each feature. While we're still in Inventor, we can test these rules in the Parameters dialog. Be sure to test as many variables as possible to ensure that the design intent is working properly. Once the design has been uploaded to your catalog in Configurator 360, you can see what our parameters look like. You will notice the pull-down for the size of the bins and the checkbox for using casters or legs. Stay tuned for more short videos and advanced techniques using iLogic in Inventor.